so basically most of my professional colleagues who still take the time to care about my life and what I've been through in cybercrime and identity theft and literally fraud on my life have really regarded the fact that despite the fact that someone keeps hacking my life in a personal attack on my life, I keep trying to move forward. I haven't given up my prowess, I haven't given up my prognosis, and I certainly haven't given up on putting forth a different life. In life at my age, I've done so many things in life that I can sort of pick and choose about how I'm going to spend my day. Whether I was literally at home in my business office or upstairs in my green screen studio or literally working in my facility or library or Japanese classroom, I had a right to choose how I was going to make my day. The difference between me and an hourly employee is I'm in charge of me. You, however, are being in control by your supervisor, by your job description, by the things that you might find getting pretty old, but the truth is in life, we are what we live. We create what we do. And in life, I prefer to create, I prefer to develop video, and I prefer to help market you. But if you don't know how to market yourself, then, then you need to find someone who can help figure that out. But you have to be willing to be inquired about after. You have to be willing to be sort of interviewed. You have to be willing to sort of talk about you in order for us to figure out how to market you. But when I'm doing my work, I'm doing my work. Well, my work happens to be sitting outside because that's my option today. Whereas before, I would have been in my home office doing this work. And that's also true. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And since I've been in homelessness, I've had literally tons of things stolen from my personal baggage, from my actual pockets, and openly they do this in the middle of the night when I'm sound asleep, totally tight in God's realm. What I also know is that if God wanted to wake me, he could. He's done that on numerous occasions. We said, okay, little man, time to get up. And there I go. I start to push myself up, despite the fact I'd rather stay sleeping, and I get myself moving. But that is the way this Lord works for me. If you don't hear God, I'm sorry about that. It doesn't mean you've got mental health issues. It means you're just not committed or committed enough to Jesus Christ or his house of the Lord of Odin or anything else of Most High. In life, we have most of the time to speak the truth as a pastor of what we think about people today. And I can tell you, I've been, been pissed on by the best Christians of the day. I can't even get over how many insulting people I have met. How they want to try and roll up to you and give you a donation. But the minute you say, I'm sorry, what is it for, please? To make sure that you're qualifying how they're making the donation and what's the beginning their determination to even bother to support a ministry like yours so that you know how to note it for taxes and you know how to do what to do with it once you receive it and then you're keeping that obligation and that little uh, verbal negotiation or what we call a verbal agreement and they get upset and say what don't you want it and then you think okay I think I'm being solicited for something totally inappropriate here and I don't know what that is and I don't want to be solicited for sex so I think I'm just gonna walk away from this you see old women in their 40s matronly women like that do that all the time. They roll up and they play this game. And I have to tell you, as an educated person, it's highly offensive. It's absolutely unfortunate, but it's truthful that these people claim to be of the house of God, but they clearly are not because they're trying to play a game with someone, and that's not right. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what goes on in the world for people in poverty, and there's a lot of crap they have to deal with. There's a lot of insult, there's a lot of indignation, there's a lot of Advice of people who are alleged themselves to be a part of a Christian nation. Most people in life know what is what and who is who around their lives. And if you haven't figured that out yet, then I encourage you to pick up some books and really figure out your own life. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about God, to speak the truth about what's going on for us. But if I communicated to you all the shit that I've endured over the past, gosh, five to eight years of this personal attack on my life, you wouldn't fucking believe me one second. And as a journalist, I know what is and isn't appropriate under FCC rules, but because I'm not on television, because I'm not on radio right now, I don't have to be perfect. I just have to speak to you in a way that makes sense to you or to me.